to VSU Voice. I'm James Tremere, uh, and today we will be talking about the conversion uh, between the quarter system and the semester system. With us uh, today, Dr. John Magnasco. He is a professor in the Communication Arts Department, uh, been here many years. Also with us, uh, <laughs> Michael Taylor. Uh, he is also in the Communication Arts Department. Uh, he works with the Radio and Television section. Um, you might have seen him on other <laughs> VSU uh, Voice. Um, am I right? Uh, Ashley Sleisner. Uh, she is a graduate of Valdosta State University, uh, and now she is a sports director for Channel 44. Um, also on my right, uh, Playl Shippey. He is a junior here at Valdosta State University, and uh, he will be caught in the middle of this conversion that we'll be talking about right after this. It's better all around for everyone, I believe. I won't have to worry about it quite as much. Adam has a disease that's making him tired, stunting his growth, and breaking down his immune system. A disease affecting over 12 million children. A disease that's totally curable. It's called hunger. Second Harvest is America's food bank network. Just call your local food bank to help. I haven't made up my mind yet. What are you going to take? Algebra. <laughs> Algebra. 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 If no one's explained how algebra, geometry, and calculus can improve your future, demand that you be told. Call NACME. We'll tell you. Where have all the children gone? Long time passing. Every day, 10 children are killed by gunfire. You can help stop the violence. Call 1-800-WE-PREVENT. Not one more lost life. Not one more grieving family. Not one more. Gone to graveyards one by one. Oh, when will we ever learn? I didn't mean anything. It's just you're getting so angry. I didn't enough. mean it. Enough. 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 Now, with uh, this conversion uh, between the semester and uh, quarter system, um, I guess the main question everybody wants to know is why? Why are we uh, making this giant change? It, it causes so, many, uh, so much work for our professors here. Uh, it, it, it makes a hassle for um, everybody included. And also, uh, many students will be caught in between. Why um, is it the will? they be making this change? Uh, the, the change was decided upon by the, the Board of Regents and the Chancellor's Office based on the fact that the system of Georgia, the University System of Georgia, is one of the few systems in the country that is not on the semester system. Um, there are uh, still a number of schools that are using quarter systems, but the majority of schools in the country have, even those that have been on quarter system over the last 10 or 12 years, have converted back to semesters. Um, for a couple of reasons, it is from a teaching standpoint uh, a lot easier to work with uh, where you have a longer term but you're meeting classes rather than daily for an hour a day. You're meeting classes every other day on alternating days either Monday, Wednesday, Friday or Tuesday, Thursday. And it gives a little bit of relief time. Uh, I kind of look at it, I mean the brain is similar to a muscle. There's not a weightlifter in the world that would work the same muscle group two days consecutively. They give the muscles a chance to rest, relax, recuperate, and come back. Well, the same thing applies with the brain. Uh, by having that time in between, uh, there's time for reflection, there's time for absorption, uh, there's time to actually keep up on reading. And so from, from a standpoint, both having been through semesters as a student 
and uh, doing some, you know, teaching. It's, it's so much easier, I think, to, to adjust to that system than the quarters. Okay. Touch James, uh, this, yeah, there's some additional things in addition to what Michael has said. Uh, another question about how, how to answer the, the uh, overriding question mm -hmm. of why pertains to the outcome, okay? Uh, there has to be some real logical reason for making a move like that, big as it is. Well, the outcome is efficiency and practicality. Those are probably the two biggest uh, things that there is a net gain with when we do make the conversion. The practicality is it's just more efficient for students to do their work in that space of time. They get an additional six or seven weeks per term now. Mm -hmm. That gives them um, opportunity to reflect upon what the learning is and then find some way to put it into practice with logic instead of being under the pressure of day-to-day operation. So you have a little reflection time, little thinking time, little ability to do that. The other side of that uh, question uh, gets to uh, joining the rest of the crowd, much of, like what um, Mr. Taylor said here a moment ago. But more than just that, it's efficiency of operation. Mm -hmm. School ends at a definite period. Students are able to go into the summer workforce, mm -hmm. or they're able to get into the job market, or they're able to get into the internship uh, situations all at the same time as the people in other institutions. So no one really has the jump on the gun anymore. Mm -hmm. There's another reason, uh, probably a lot of reasons, but another big one certainly mm -hmm. is that all of the surrounding states are on the semester system. So for efficiency and transfer, mm -hmm. one state student to another state student, particularly in coming to Georgia naturally it makes all of that so much more easy because mm -hmm. um, the credit uh, uh, relationships are slightly different when you have the quarter system versus the um, semester system. Oh, and I, we've seen that over and over again, uh, losing credits and not being able to, um, having to take courses over mm -hmm. and over again, prolonging your time in school mm -hmm. where you can't get out there in the yeah. real world. Um, Ashley, speaking of the real world, uh, you've graduated and gone on, but while you were still in school, um, you went to, uh, from what I understand, two different colleges, and you were able to experience both the semester system and uh, what we have now. Um, could, you, could you tell us maybe the, what, it, what is it, uh, the pros and cons? Well, what, what's better? Well, I went to Santa Fe Community College in Gainesville, Florida, and then transferred up here, I believe it was my junior year, which turned out to be my sophomore <laughs> years, because as they said, I lost credit. Mm -hmm. To illustrate that point, let me give you an example. Um, say you hate going to math class, which 99% of us hate going to math <laughs> class. If you only had math class Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, it gives you Monday night, so you start on Monday with math class, it gives you Monday night to do your homework, Tuesday and Tuesday night to prepare for Wednesday's class session. And that's just much more efficient. And um, it's just, it's better all around for everyone, I believe. Wow. Um, play all, <laughs> you're going to be caught in between, as, as I mentioned before. Um, what have uh, you been told uh, as far as um, what you're going to have to do to get through this process? Um, well, I've been told that they're going to do their best to uh, help us get our <laughs> hours that we need and to get our classes on through them. So, but uh, even though they've told us that and they've tried to comfort us with that you know, fact, <laughs> I've, uh, I'm working pretty hard to get as many classes as I possibly can finished and out of the way before that yeah. conversion, so I won't have to worry about it quite as much. I just speak to that for a moment. I think probably when you come down to looking at uh, what classes and how to move through the remaining part of your program, I think the things that are important right now is making sure that everybody gets through the initial two-year program, or what we call mm -hmm. at this institution the undergraduate part of the program. Um, the specialty areas are not likely to be affected at all. As a matter of fact, uh, I would slightly disagree uh, with that. In, we'll, we'll get in, right back to that okay. after, uh, <laughs> after a short break. I think the reaction to it will be very positive. Expand and elaborate the curriculum.
In America, you are not required to offer food to the hungry or shelter to the homeless. There is no ordinance forcing you to visit the lonely. In fact, nowhere in the Constitution does it say you have to provide anything for anybody. Thank you for all you've given. Imagine what more could do. One of the reasons lions roar is to warn threatening bachelor males from other prides to stay away from their young. Here, a lion cub gets a lesson in proper roaring from its father. Teaching this behavior is not just crucial to the pride, but also to the survival of the species. Just a reminder how important it is for fathers to spend time with their children. Don't you love that safe, free feeling you get in a pickup truck, Larry? Yeah, nothing but you, me, the open road, a deer. Yeah! A, a cow! cow. Yeah! An ah! ostrich! Ah! Yeah! The, the village, village people. people! The, the village, village people? people. Yeah! You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Especially in pickup trucks. I didn't know the village people were doing a road tour. The odds of your child touching the stars are out of this world. The chance she'll grow up to be a famous architect is somewhat more down to earth. But the chances are more than one in four your baby isn't fully protected against childhood diseases. Be sure his baby shots are on schedule. Ask your doctor at every visit. Give your child the chance to be whatever he wants, even if it's a rock star. Even if you're sure, ask again. Welcome back to VSU Voice. Um, Dr. McNasco, you were, uh, you were making a, a point about the conversion. Right. I think we were getting to the point where uh, we were thinking about um, how it's going to affect individuals here. Are they going to lose some credits? Are they going to gain some things? What have you. But our emphasis with most students right now is to get them through as much of the first two years or what we call the liberal arts years are at this institution. The, the undergraduate curriculum um, as uh, much as they can. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where if there is some change that's likely to be seen most. But um, I don't seem to be having many problems at all with my uh, advisees. I've got most of them right on track mm -hmm. so uh, uh, I don't anticipate any real problems. In fact I think most people are going to enjoy it. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, okay? Yeah. I think they're going to think this was the greatest thing since chicken soup, okay? <laughs> and um, uh, I, I think the reaction to it will be very positive. I think, the, if anything, they may even find themselves gaining some credits because mm -hmm. of the technical things that are uh, in place when you make those kind of uh, conversions. Um, I think students are just going to really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, Michael, mm -hmm. the, uh, the actual changing process, um, okay. you and Dr. Magnasco were both uh, a large part in uh, this enormous uh, ordeal, <laughs> um, um, shaping that it, and, and, and forming it. What, yeah. what exactly is the process that you Well, what we went through uh, in the initial phases was, I, as John mentioned, the, the big change is in the undergraduate core. Uh, which is common to all schools in the university system. And we're trying to get a, a very definite unified core so that, for example, someone like Ashley, who starts at a community college, but in this case within the state of Georgia, can go through that undergraduate core and transfer that in toto to one of the upper division schools. And so we're trying to get that established there were a lot of changes that were made in how they approached the, the undergraduate core. Instead of what is now areas uh, one through four, uh, we're going to areas A through F. Uh, area F corresponding for uh, incoming students to what area four is basically now, those hours that are dedicated to the major or applicable to the major. And some interesting things that, that we're dealing with in looking at statewide outcomes, uh, we're looking at, uh, we're always under pressure to make sure that the degree has validity. Um, so the state is looking at very definitely 
being very careful that we have outcomes addressed mm -hmm. in what are we trying to do with this undergraduate core? Right. How do these various classes fit in? And we want to keep it cohesive and, and pull together. At the senior division, at the upper division level, um, it offered an opportunity for departments all over the state, in, in universities statewide, to take a very clear look at what they were offering, maybe what they weren't offering, that they felt needed to be in place to, as it were, keep the major contemporary with 1996. In some cases, there are courses that have been on the books for a number of years, that have been catalogs for a number of years, but haven't been taught because their relevancy has diminished or died. So it gave us all a chance to re-examine the, the curriculum, the courses we offer, and make modifications to that curriculum. In some departments, it was a very easy transition. As uh, the movie MASH once went, change the numbers on that Jeep, uh, change the numbers on that course. Uh, in other cases, it meant very seriously looking at merging courses into a single course uh, for a semester. It meant, in some cases, adding new courses, being able to expand and elaborate the curriculum. Uh, so it gave the departments each a chance to really look seriously at what's out there, what they were doing, and rethink what, uh, what they offered so that we could be more student-oriented and prepare you guys better for the world as you're facing it now as opposed to maybe what the world was 15 years ago. So that's the, the big part of it. Like I said, from depending on the department and how hard it was, everything from rewriting a curriculum to change the numbers on these courses. <laughs> um, Playl, since you will be uh, caught in between, um, how, do you how do you feel about um, the whole change? I mean, do you, do you feel it's, it's necessary or, um, do, I mean, <laughs> so, <clears throat> well, uh, it, it basically, what I've, I've always been in the quarter system. I went to Darton College before I came here and uh, finished up all my core there because I really didn't know what I wanted to do for a major and finally chose one when I got here. Um, but what I've heard from my uh, friends and other people I know that are in the uh, semester system, uh, they seem to be very pleased with it and seem to like it more because uh, some of them went with me to Darton and then transferred to there. And uh, sounds like a good thing. Is you know, kind of hate to be caught in it, but you know. Uh, other than that, uh, it sounds like a really good idea, and I think you know Georgia needs to be caught up with uh, other states in yeah. the country. So, well, um, do you, do you look for um, do you look forward to um, the change, or do you think it's going to be more trouble than it's worth for those who are caught in the middle? Well, um, from what Dr. Manasto Manasto just said, um, I feel that uh, a little bit more comforted about it. You know, from uh, from the words he just said, you know, it sounded to me like it wasn't going to be as bad as uh, I thought. It was kind of scary, you know, what I envisioned it being, you know, but um, I think it should be all right. Okay. Uh, James, uh, on that note, um, there's always a fear element of the unknown. Mm -hmm. So no matter what you do, there are always some of that. Uh, there'll be people who we might call diehards, and they will go. <laughs> to their graves with the quarter <laughs> system probably, you know. Yeah. Uh, but I think in the long run, um, you'll find that the overwhelming response will be very positive. People will enjoy it. School will end in the springtime very early now. Um, you'll be in sync with the rest of the country practically, uh, most of the country. Um, there's just too many good things that it brings. I've always worked in the semester system, so I've never had any real problem with it um, at all. In fact, I, I, I think it's great. I think it's about time, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess with an overwhelming uh, good feeling about this semester's uh, conversion, we'll be right back. Somebody's got to be caught in the middle, you know, yeah. why not me? Anxiety they may be feeling. give someone they don't know a gift. 
They do it because this gift saves lives. And the need for it is desperate. We need over 20,000 people to give this precious gift every day. Please give blood. There's a life to be saved right now. Call the American Red Cross at 1-800-GIVE-LIFE. I don't know. Do you want to check him? Yeah. Okay. This side. Wait, no, no. Grab it by that side. And do you know whose mistake this is going to be for? Who? As soon as I'm done with it, I'm going to give it out to someone. Do you want Mommy to get started for you? Yeah. Ooh, is that the right color? If you don't yeah. stop someone Happy from driving Easter. drunk, Happy Easter. who will? Do whatever it takes. Chemistry class led me to a life of crime. I catch murderers, rapists, and thieves with a microscope. Help your daughter become a scientist. Instead of a tea set, get her a chemistry set. Look at the boring job I got from being a science nerd. Expect the best from a girl. That's what you'll get. Welcome back to VSU Voice. I'm James Tremere. Um, we've talked a lot about the, the technical aspects, the changes, um, what it's going to entail. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about what it's like as a student, um, the advantages of the semester on a personal level? On a personal level, it is fantastic to get out of school at the end of April or the middle of May as opposed to being stuck in school while everybody else is out playing around mm -hmm. until the end of June. So, I mean, everybody has spring fever, of course, in the spring. And you don't want to be stuck in a class when it's, you know, 90 degrees outside and you can play some basketball or anything. <laughs> so uh, so I'm, I'm totally in favor of the semester system. And I guarantee the students would absolutely love it. Just give it a chance. Great. Like you, like you had, um, uh, there was one thing to kind of follow up on, you know, Playolds mentioned about concerns for students that are in that transition phase. Uh, obviously, we've, we've established at VSU the need for all the students to meet with their advisor in order to be able to get registered. Likewise, for all those of us on faculty, when we're advising, we've got to make sure that we are kind of helping our students get the things covered they need to get covered and kind of help them with that transition. Um, so it's going to, I think, help build that relationship between an advisor and an advisee of uh, helping ease the transition because, I mean, our whole purpose as faculty is to make it as smooth as possible because we all look, well, I can't speak for everybody on campus, but I know the two of us at any rate are looking forward to it. And given that, I think we need to help the students ease any anxiety they may be feeling in the advising process. Um, earlier on, you mentioned that um, you would be able to expand uh, course, courses, mm -hmm. what you'd be able to offer. Um, Dr. Madnasso, uh, are there any particular um, courses that you've really wanted to, to, to get out there? Well, we have a number of changes coming. Um, earlier, um, Michael spoke to all of the um, merging and elimination and additions and things of that sort. So you have to understand that, that there is a larger context, okay? The curricula that we offer have to be examined very carefully, mm -hmm. very analytically, uh, so on and so forth, so that we maintain where we have to maintain the integrity of the content material so that we can continue to offer a viable program. Okay, if you, if that's really the nutshell of the issue. Beyond that, then you look for those areas where you can make the additional changes that are necessary to improve your program, to update it, and um, make it uh, competitive with most institutions that offer similar kinds of programs. And everybody does their own little thing here, or a little thing there to make themselves outstanding in some way. But uh, yes, there are a number of new things that, that we did put in, and one in particular for me that's uh, very important uh, will be now language and communication. We, we, that's not the title of the course, but that will be the content area uh, that we'll deal with. We're looking for something like that. We've already added a number of courses. Uh, we're going to add um, uh, another thing. We're combining some old film classes and combining them with speech communication. So we have that new thing. Uh, 
in the pipeline. Uh, all of these things have to be approved, so I don't want to be premature, right. and <laughs> I, I should say that, you know, I'm not certainly the official uh, spokesperson for the university on, on this matter. But just for a personal reaction, I think, is um, uh, the future for us portends a whole lot of excitement, I would think, uh, because now we can finally begin to separate some of the things that have to be done with some of the things that are needed to make the programs really avant-garde in some particular way. And, um, uh, uh, very future oriented so that the students will go into their professions uh, armed with the kinds of skills that they are needed at, at the same time not only just the skills but they have to have the knowledge base and background to make it so that's really what we're doing when we're doing a number on that one already yeah. um, Playl, since you're uh, since you're <laughs> again I say in the middle of this um, <laughs> You're ending, ending as so many of these new wonderful things are beginning. Are there any, are there any regrets? Are there any uh, feelings? Well, um, you know, I could have went to a school with a semester system, but um, the two colleges that I went to, I've, I've really enjoyed my time at each one. And uh, as far as the conversion, you know, somebody's got to be caught in the middle. You know, yeah. why not me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so. um, Ashley, what uh, as from your change from uh, going to a school with a semester to um, a school with a quarter, uh, what types of, of things, what types of complications did that cause well, that maybe we can avoid by having a unified? Well, Dr. Manesco was my advisor. He kind of eased that tension there, <laughs> eased, that, <laughs> eased that change there. But um, I believe it's five credit hours. And every, for every five credit hours, I was dropped down to 4.5, mm -hmm. if that's what. So that was the problem. And I had to retake history 100. Let me just get into this. Mm -hmm. I had to retake history 100, <laughs> Georgia history, you know, just retake some things transferring from a Florida junior college to a to a university in Georgia, and I didn't appreciate that too much. As you can imagine, wasting the parents' money and my time. But anyway, let me just reiterate this: semester systems. <laughs> Great. Um, we've we've talked about the, the conversion. It's uh, positive notes. It's it's negative notes mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, those who don't get to uh, either don't get to have it uh, all the way through, <laughs> or are uh, are forced to deal with it as it goes along. Um, we have been speaking with uh, Dr. John Magnasco, uh, Michael Taylor, Ashley, and, uh, and uh, Playo. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful name, Playo. Um, and we, uh, we hope you'll join us next week uh, with another interesting topic here on VSU Voice. Thanks for joining us.